after eating something. Hopefully it's not pepperoni pizza like I just had, but do you have nausea, perhaps breakout in hives? Is it an allergy or an intolerance? Knowing just how your body is reacting to certain foods can be confusing. Here to shed a little light on things is holistic pharmacist Sherry Tortis. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Now, how can we tell the difference between food allergies and intolerance? Okay, so food allergies originate with the immune system, and the immune system overreacts to something it shouldn't. For example, if you consume peanuts or shellfish or eggs, some people will have an allergic reaction. That's their immune system responding inappropriately. Food intolerances, on the other hand, originate in the gut, in the gastrointestinal system. Okay. And a lot of people have heard about gluten intolerance, which is celiac disease or lactose intolerance, very common issues, but one that not a lot of people may have heard about is histamine intolerance, and unfortunately that pepperoni pizza yes. contains some histamine foods. Now is this something that people develop over time in life, or is this something that they're born with? It becomes more common as we age, for sure, and the reason for that is that our body doesn't have enough of the enzyme called DAO to break down histamine, so as we get older you may have found that, you know, you have a glass of wine or some beer, and it just doesn't settle right. You yeah. get hives, you get flushing, headache, you feel nauseous, uncomfortable, uh, racing heart. That Those are signs of histamine intolerance. So it is common as we get older, but also in people that have celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, leaky gut, Crohn's colitis, yes. also very common among those people. In fact, 50% of, or sorry, 70% of cases of histamine intolerance are due to a deficiency of this enzyme. All right, so what, what should we, or what supplements should we add to our diet to kind of help with those histamines? Okay, so you can get the DAO enzyme in supplement form. So that's here. So you can look for that DAO. So with this enzyme, you would take it before you're eating a histamine-rich meal. Take it about 15 to 20 minutes before a histamine-rich rich meal. So again, we're talking about beer, wine, chocolate, dried fruits, nuts, even the cured meats, aged cheeses, if those are a problem for you, and you're trying to get to the bottom of it, you could consider trying a supplement to see if that helps to negate those effects. Yes. So you take it about 15 to 20 minutes before. It does work right away, unlike certain things that you have to take and lead up for weeks or months, that does work quickly. Also supplements of vitamins B6, vitamin C and probiotics, they can also be helpful in helping your body deal with histamine and also improving that enzyme, DAO. Now are there any side effects to taking these supplements? Well, they're very well tolerated. In fact, if you have a DAO deficiency and you take the supplement before those histamine rich meals, you'll know pretty much right away if that was what was causing your effects because it'll work very quickly. Always a good idea though to talk to your doctor, your pharmacist, your healthcare provider for advice when you're taking any new supplement. But I can tell you in my practice as a pharmacist that I have encountered so many people that have this issue of histamine intolerance. They thought at first maybe it was the sulfites in the wine or maybe you know it was something else only to find out that it was actually histamine intolerance. And on that note as well, certain medications can also affect your ability to wow. process wow. histamine. So what foods should we add to our, our diets or should we add more exercise to kind of help us combat all of this? What else should we add? Well, I always recommend exercise and getting enough sleep at night and managing your stress. Those are just the fundamentals for good health. But there are certain foods that can help as well. Olive oil contains oleic acid. That helps the body as well to process and break down histamine. Pomegranates, which are rich in certain ah. antioxidants, very helpful. And also onions. Onions contain an antioxidant called quercetin, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. So add some of that to your diet. And chicken as well. Great source of protein, but also the oleic acid, which again helps to metabolize. Perfect. And where can we go for more information? You could check out daodeficiency.org. So daodeficiency.org or my website, sherrytorkus.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for joining me. us today. For more information on this topic and others, look for Sherry on her website at sherrytorkus.com.